think there's a resident in the seventh district who hasn't experienced 995 traffic at some point. And so it's just an example of why we need to make smart and targeted investments in our public transportation um, and our ride sharing options so that we can reduce the congestion we have on our roads and improve reliability. And I hope to continue promoting alternative methods of travel, such as the Richmond to DC high-speed rail corridor uh, that will bring commuters and travelers more options. However, in the short term, we also need to consider um, increasing options for teleworking so that we can keep people off the roads where possible. I know, for example, that almost 40% of all workers in Spotsylvania and Fredericksburg uh, commute out of the area each day. And most of those individuals are going to Northern Virginia or going to Richmond for work. And given the high concentration of federal workers in the northern end of the 7th District in Culpeper and Spotsylvania, it really could make sense to look at ways to keep those people um, in their home areas through secure co-working facilities or other creative options, rather than have them on the roads to Northern Virginia every day. Giving workers flexibility, even if it only keeps a small percentage of regular commuters off the road, could really relieve some of the problem in the short term. Because overall, we can't just keep widening highways ad nauseum, and there isn't just one silver bullet for us to use to relieve congestion. And so we need to look at private and public sector um, needs and consider all options and think creatively about how it is that we can overall uh, solve the transportation issue.